Hello everyone. So there was a question on the community, and uh, this one is of course interesting question. I only look at interesting questions, by the way. So the question is about uh, adding some task or sub task in this case using automation. And uh, when you are doing automation or when you create an automation rule in Jira, usually you want to do it on transitions. Let us say whenever you do something in your workflow, you want to create some task, right? Now, when when you have a workflow which is uh, which has a path, basically you go from one state to another state, and that is the only transition. Then these automation rules are fine because you uh, have one path to take, and you can of course have in your workflow transitions that will let you do the same transition again. So basically, you can go back to the previous state, and then you can. Uh, basically execute that transition again which you did earlier and in in those cases when you have a rule that is creating some task your task will automatically get gets created again and it can be annoying right and this is of course very common and usually to to solve this problem all you need to do you basically need to go to your rule for example in this case this user is saying that whenever the story status is changed from some status to to do then uh, there are some tasks subtasks that are created and it happens all the time and uh, you can see the rule when the value changes status okay uh, it looks all right i mean that is probably fine so uh, basically when you have this uh, status change you can see that there is a new subtask creation and uh, what you can do you can actually in your uh, rule you can add a condition like if else condition and in the if else condition you just need to basically check if the task that you are creating has already been created or if there is a task already and there are of course couple of ways of doing or more than a couple of ways of doing it but a simple thing to do is uh, check the summary of uh, the sub task let us say when you are creating a rule or when you have a rule which is creating a sub task within an issue so sub task would always be within an issue right and you can actually add a if else condition and check using jql using a matching jql i'll show you in, in just a minute and you can specify that if there is already a sub task with this summary don't create it this is simple and it works and that is what i normally do for example if you look at my rule here and i will uh, show you the rule so basically in my rule i'll start with the uh, so basically in this rule i have like multiple project scope and uh, you can see here that there is a, let us say a transition like some transition in progress to first level review whatever and uh, you basically basically need to use this issue transitioned action right and then the main thing is is to basically check something like this using if block so if you add a new if block you can actually just do it like this and uh, use a jql condition right or basically use a if else and you can then check here uh, using the jql condition so that that is something that i've already done and you can see here in this particular case i am basically checking if uh, um if basically in this particular uh, for for example if you are running this rule on an epic and uh, you want to check for uh, an existing story or maybe in this case uh, maybe you want to do it for sub task that was the question you can basically check here if uh, uh, there is a i mean using this jql you can check summary if it is equal to or not equal to but basically if it is like task summary 1 let us say we are getting two sub task and there's their summary has this task summary 1 and task summary 2 and uh, you can then uh, use this uh, condition none match specified jql so basically only proceed further when this like well like when when none of the issues match this and uh, you can of course validate the query and then uh, if that is the case if none matches and it means that there is no other issue you can then create a uh, the issue using this you know rule and in this case of course you can you can see here that i'm using a summary a task summary 1 and task summary 
and because uh, this particular issue is uh, basically a task or a story within my original epic i'm also using the epic link so basically everything is nicely within that same epic so it is actually very simple um, to do these things and you have to do these things if you are using automation rule because uh, automation rules although i mean by the way i have made lots of videos on automation rules and i think on jira cloud you can't really live without automation rules of course there is script now but at the same time if you can do something natively then why use an app of course you know use script now by the way and reach out to me because companies pay me to write their scripts uh, that of course was and even 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 right now is the case on data center because on data center the thing is that if you have uh, the ability to write code using a uh, script now for jira on data center or even script now for jira on uh, on cloud when you can write code you have more flexibility you can actually solve complicated problems with the help of a code automation rules i think there is a limit of what you can do uh, imagine that you have to do this condition for like five sub five issues and of course i'm just using a jql which is based on summary but what if you want to maybe check for something else like maybe a field value so it can get you can do simple automation using automation rule but but when it comes to a bit complicated use cases you can somehow do it but it is not really nice right you have to basically i mean the rule is a bit fragile it looks fragile i mean it is not very easy to maintain it is not really readable at all and when you have too many elements it is again annoying and i usually try to keep my rules simple which is in a way a good thing uh, so yeah that is it that is all i wanted to talk about and share in this video and while you are here i wanted to let you know that if you go to training.sparkses.com i am doing a webinar interactive webinar called automation options in jira the idea behind this webinar is uh, to basically meet and uh, discuss automation options in jira as the name suggests so basically i want to talk about uh, what all you can do when it comes to automation we'll take a look at the pros and cons of various automation options and we'll also take a look at some use cases and by the way i'm making this i'm doing this uh, webinar because automation is something that we do as a company quite a lot because uh, we specialize and we have a lot of experience in uh, you know in doing uh, scripting automations and uh, advanced reporting i mean the last webinar webinar i did was on advanced reporting and these webinars i'm not massively publicizing them because i don't really want i mean because i i want these webinars to be interactive i want these webinars to be like a mini meetup so just you know come ask me questions and network but of course we'll have a theme and the theme for this upcoming webinar which is on sunday 6 a.m. uh british time that would be 10:30 india time and you can check other time zones so just uh, come join and uh, we'll get to know each other and talk about automation all right that is it that is it for today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new thank you very much bye bye